I recorded this clip of this young guy here and I've recorded it for the people who see an issue with electronic training collars. Look at him look, towards those livestock there. You imagine if he managed to get out of somebody's garden or if he escaped somebody's vehicle. He's done, he's done that. He escaped somebody's vehicle, if his lead broke, if somebody didn't manage to get his lead on in time, if his harness he managed to wriggle out of, if he managed to slip his collar, if children were walking him, if elderly people were walking him, if somebody with a injury or disability were walking him. You know, if that dog were off lead, what would he do? towards those livestock? That is the question you've got to ask yourself and he's answering it for you. So with the use of an electronic training collar, throughout the course of a single day, we actually set about changing the desire in that dog towards livestock from one of approach to one of avoid. We're on a 30 foot line held by my finger. You see that? He's there. I just want to show you. I'd argue with anybody, anybody at all, with an ounce of compassion, an ounce of common sense, and an ounce of, you know, desire to protect the countryside and to promote responsible dog ownership, to point out what's wrong with that, any of it.